When it comes to making movie trailers in iMovie, you can literally start by just clicking on your clips and adding them to your movie trailer. But it does pay off to do a little bit of pre-work ahead of time. And what I mean by a little bit of pre-work is a couple of things. One of them is using keywords. And uh, keywords, let me just uh, select on a clip here, are your tagging of the different clips, especially if you use the same names of the cast members as the keywords or as the tagging that you uh, enter in here. That way you can find your clips much faster. Uh, a quick note though, if you don't see the keywords button or if you don't see the keywords blue labels on the clips, chances are that in the preferences you do not have show advanced tools on. So make sure that this option is checked. Let me just move it up. And as you can see, as soon as I enable it, then the keyword button comes up. So for this particular clip, I already went in and tagged a number of the clips based on some criteria. I'll give an example here. So this one is tagged uh, Giovanna. This one is tagged La Nona. This one over here is tagged Landscape. And uh, this one over here, you see that it's tagged Melus and then People. The People tagging, I did not do it myself. I actually let iMovie using the People Finder to do the tagging for me. So that's the other thing that you may want to do ahead of time. Now, if you have not analyzed your clips with a people finder, you can do that once you have the clips in the event library. For example here, this particular clip has not been analyzed for people. To analyze it for people, it's actually quite simple. Simply right click on the clip and choose the option that says analyze video. Now, you don't get to see it here. It gets cropped off a little bit. Let me move it up so you can see it much better. There we go. So I am going to analyze this particular clip. So let me right click on it. Analyze video for people. And uh, this analysis may take some time. Right click, analyze video for people. And then iMovie goes through the process, and this process would take some time depending on the length of the clip. Okay, so the analysis is over. Let me just scroll down a little bit. And the purple bars at the top here indicates that uh, iMovie found people in there. Uh, now, watch out though, because the People Finder uh, is not necessarily the best uh, engine. So it may yield results that are not precise. For example, here, uh, it says that there's no people when, of course, the two people are actually on the screen. Okay, so now we have uh, tagged our clips both with our own keywords as well as using the people finder. So let me just switch back the order to the original default and we are now ready to start with our own movie trailer.